Today we're talking about how designing with neutral colors creates a versatile and flexible backdrop for your spaces while providing a calming and restful atmosphere. Hey everyone, Liz here. Welcome to Balance and Rhythm. Thanks so much for joining me today and thanks to everyone who subscribed. I'm so glad you're here. And if you have not subscribed yet, I hope that you'll consider joining us. If you like this video and this type of content, please take a moment to like and share with your friends. Now let's talk about how to work with neutral colors. Neutral colors provide the perfect canvas for any design style, are easy on the eyes, and create a sense of calm in a space. So what exactly are neutral colors? The pure neutrals are black, white, brown, and gray. They're considered pure because they have no color undertone like blue, red, yellow, and so forth. Other neutrals like cream, beige, taupe, and tan are considered near neutrals because they are a mix of one of the pure neutrals and another non-neutral color, giving them the undertone of that color. This is where we get warm and cool neutrals. A warm neutral will have a red, orange, or yellow undertone, while the cool neutrals will have green, blue, or violet undertones. Colors can also be deepened, lightened, or neutralized by adding black, white, and gray. You can see the effects of this on the back of the color wheel. By adding the neutrals to the pure green hue, you can get a deep dark shade by adding black, a brighter tint by adding white, and adding gray gives it a soft neutral tone. This is the type of tonal green we've seen so much of this year. The way we perceive color can be affected by surrounding finishes and furnishings, especially large surfaces like floors and walls, and also by artificial and natural light. Artificial light will tend to make the color look warmer since the most comfortable indoor lighting is in the warmer range. How natural light will affect a color depends on the exposure of the room. Natural light from north facing windows will tend to cast a cool light while south facing windows will cast a warm light. With east facing windows you'll get bright soft light that's slightly warm in the mornings but things cool down once the sun starts to head west in the afternoon. West facing windows will give you more subdued light before noon and it will get warmer and brighter as the afternoon progresses. Having windows on at least two sides of the space will tend to balance things out. The best thing to do with any material or furnishing you're considering is to get samples and view them in the space at all times of day to make sure you're happy with the color. Here are the top benefits of designing with neutral colors and how to work with them. Neutrals are versatile. Neutrals can be the basis for almost any decorating style, from traditional to transitional, Scandi to Japandi, and everything in between. Neutrals provide a subtle backdrop to showcase each style's unique characteristics. The trend toward warm minimalist interiors is a great example of this. Neutrals are calming. Colors that are muted or less saturated have a calming effect and are restful to the eye. This is a big reason you'll see lots of neutrals in spots. We can take inspiration from nature to create palettes that we find soothing, relaxing, and cozy. The strategy here is to select a range of closely related tones with just enough difference between them to allow all the different elements of the design to stand out. So you want a slight and harmonious contrast between the major finishes and furnishings and its closest neighbors. Neutrals provide flexibility. Keeping the room envelope of floor, wall, and ceiling planes neutral allows you to adapt to new styles and trends by allowing you to bring in furnishings and decor items to change up the interior without a lot of expense. Floors are the biggest consideration here because they're messy and expensive to change out and they must be durable, so any refinishing or painting requires expertise. When recommending wood or wood look flooring, I like to suggest mid-tone browns with hints of gray for maximum versatility. The same goes for tile. It's going to be more versatile if it has some elements of warm and cool. Cabinetry is another major consideration because replacement is costly, but they can be painted fairly easily. Painted cabinets have been the trend in recent years with white being the predominant choice, but wood is making a comeback. Again, some balance of warm and cool will give you the maximum amount of flexibility in choosing your wall finishes. Ceiling and wall color can be easy to change, but that depends on the height of your ceilings and taking into account any wall and ceiling treatments like paneling, shiplap, and wood plank. You can DIY it by painting your own walls and ceilings, but really tall ceilings may require scaffolding or some type of equipment to reach the highest places. Once you've established the room envelope, bring in furniture and decor items. 
Select large furniture pieces in colors from your neutral palette so that they blend seamlessly into the space. The smaller furniture pieces, rugs, and curtains can act as harmonious accents in deeper or lighter coordinating shades. Texture is key in designing with neutrals because it helps differentiate items that are close in color with its play of light and shadow. Artwork, pillows, and accessories can add a bit of color contrast for more interest. If you want to keep things calm and grounded, go for more muted shades and tones or black and white. But if you like a little drama, don't be afraid to pop in a bolder color. Those pieces will really stand out when placed against a neutral background. So there you have it, the top reasons why neutrals make a great canvas for expressing your personal style. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe to be the first to know about new videos. Also, I would love to know what you think about designing with neutrals. Do you love it? Hate it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day and a wonderful week. I'll see you next time.